When Kubernetes first appeared, it was using Docker. It was using it in a way that Docker was basically a required dependency, as many things inside Kubernetes hard-coded it in different ways. At the time, it was a logical choice. Docker was the most popular and feature-complete container manager, so building Kubernetes on top of it was good. But then, people wanted Kubernetes to support other container managers and container runtimes. The problem is, if your source code is heavily dependent on one concrete tool, it's really hard to replace this tool with another one in a way that both old and new tool are supported. As a result, adding support for the alternative container managers proved to be hard. Every container manager had its own specifics that Kubernetes had to know about to be able to support it. Another issue became apparent. Docker was just too much for Kubernetes. Docker can do the networking, volumes, and many other things, and all of those things are already part of the Kubernetes. It stopped making sense to include something this powerful when you only need to do a handful of things with the containers on the Kubernetes node. And that's how Kubernetes Container Runtime Interface appeared back in 2016. The idea of Kubernetes Cry is that instead of bundling and supporting many different container runtimes, those container runtimes would simply need to comply to the CRI standard. Kubernetes, in return, only had to maintain and support this standard and make sure that any standard compliant runtime will work well. It doesn't matter if you are using Docker or Podman or anything else, as long as this tool supports the Kubernetes container runtime interface. In theory, you don't even need to run containers. Your CRI-enabled tool could, for example, create virtual machines instead of containers. Well, in practice too, because there are many projects that do exactly that and that are outside the scope of this course. One of the most stable and widely used implementations of the container runtime interface is called Cryo, and it's stable enough to be at the core of OpenShift, the Kubernetes distribution used at thousands of companies at small and huge scales. Let's give Cryo a try. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.